Good morning to you, beautiful people, beautiful Christians. This morning, the Bible lesson comes from Gospel of John, chapter 12, verse 1 through 9. This is a story about uh, Mary's anointing Jesus' feet with the expensive perfume and the Judas Iscariot's reaction. Uh, my devotion title is, What is Your Ultimate Concern? And hear the word of God. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him, Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those who at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of a pure nard, anointed at Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for the hundred, three hundred denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept a common purse and used to steal what was Put into it and Jesus said leave her alone she bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial you always have the poor with you but you do not always have me and this is the word of God for us for the people of God and thanks be to God let me ask you a question my friends beautiful friends what is your ultimate concern what do you really care about? What is the, there at the bottom of your heart? Is your ultimate concern is this country? Then why do you really care about, concerned about this country? Is it because this country protects you and give you social security and welfare and protection? Then your ultimate concern is not the USA but yourself. Why do you come to church? Is it because you want to see your blessings upon you and your children? Or do you want to glorify God and serve Him alone? If you care about, if you care more about you and your children, then your health and uh, your wealth and prosperity, then, then the glorification of God, glory of God, then your ultimate concern is you. Anything that we put before God is idol. God says, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of house of slavery. You shall not put any other God before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, for I am zealous God. I will visit the sins of parents to their children for third and fourth generations. But I will bless those who love me and keep my commandment for a thousand generations. We are not to put any other gods before Jehovah, nor make we any idol for ourselves. If we do that, that is idolatry. Paul Tilly, one of the great theologians in 20th century, coined this term, ultimate concern. What are you really concerned about? What do you really care about? This morning, the Bible reveals what Judas Iscariot, who sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, care about. Mary broke very expensive perfume, somewhere around $30,000, today's uh, currency. Then she poured it out on the Jesus' feet, washed his feet with uh, her hair. And Judas was mad and angry at her, saying, We could help the poor with that. And what are you doing? What a waste of money. But the Bible says, He said this not because he cared about the money, but because he was a thief, he stole the money. Two things I love to say about this story. First, what is your ultimate concern? What are you, why are you doing what you're doing? Why do you come to church? What do you really care about? 
And I pray that your ultimate concern is nothing but Jesus. Second, Jesus rebuked Judas Iscariot, saying, You always have the poor, but you do not always have me. That means worship is a center, centrality in our spirituality. Do not miss out the worship, corporate worship. When it comes to worship, it is always corporate. You may have a devotion at home by yourself, but worship, whether it's a virtual or in person, it is a two or three are gathered. That is in worship, glorifying God. That is a worship. The church is always plural, and worship is always plural. Jesus, the Bible says, Jesus went to the synagogue on Sabbath. I'm thankful that I missed, uh, I never missed the, uh, the corporate worship service since I came to the United States in 92, except two times. I preached and worshiped on Sunday morning when I had the poison ivy all over my face. My face was slow, swollen. I barely was able to see, but I still came to church and preached. I preached on snow and ice days. I walked up, uh, three miles to church, and then uh, uh, by the grace of God, God sent uh, two or three people. Uh, so we worshiped together. I worshiped on Sunday when my mother went to heaven on Friday evening. I have done that because I want to no, I want to do uh, that my priority is Christ alone. He is the only Savior and the Lord whom I have known. And He is my ultimate concern. And how about you, my friend? What is your ultimate concern? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, uh, uh, Catherine will play the piano and sing, uh, the, join the singing, and Renford, he's here, it's a great handsome man right here, and, uh, and he will sing with us, and the Deanna, oh, beautiful, the best secretary that I have ever had in my life. If you have ever been a secretary in all throughout ministry, I'm so sorry to say this to you. <laughs> <laughs> so we will sing all together. Uh, uh, oh, come, all you faithful, first, third and fourth.
so much, dear Na and then, uh, Redford and Catherine. That's beautiful.